All right, hey guys, what's going on? This is Hobfoot, and I'm back. So I'm back in the saddle again. Yes, I'm back. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what's up? We're uh, we're gonna go get some noodles. Come on, help me out. Going to the noodle boat. Where are those roots coming from? There's no way those vines have roots like that. I don't think any of these trees are sending roots that far. Okay. Seriously. Here's another thing. You see that pine tree right there? This little bit of time it's meant supposed to have been? This is all caved in from the original street. Not buying that. And there's no way that tree would be that big. I'm calling you out, naughty dog. Okay, go for it. Whoops, a daisy. I'm trying to think with the uh, likelihood of uh, okay. Ellie getting herself killed is in this game. Like, is she going to go out in a blaze of glory since nothing matters anymore? Because Joel's dead? Maybe they find another immune person. Dun dun dun. Maybe she manages to convince people to uh They were hoping to find Tommy at the aquarium. I didn't tell her you knew. That's what you're I wasn't. Is the aquarium a wolf base? I don't think so. Nora said Abby's hiding out there. You get her to tell you why they did it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Joel had uh, falling out with some <laughs> fireflies. <laughs> um, former fireflies. What kind of falling out? Uh, he was a smuggler. Oh, why am I? They disagreed about some goods. I broke out. Some of them died. I guess they want payback. Yeah. That changed anything for you? Nope. I need to get clear on something. When we find Tommy, you're good with going home. Yeah. You'll be leaving some of those assholes alive. Dina should be back in Jackson. Okay. Besides, Ellie can always come back. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe they get one of the groups to talk to to them and they uh manage to convince them that they should you know, help them make a vaccine and all that. All right, I guess that's the way we're supposed to go. So let's go in here. Car dealership? Seems like a weird place for... Oh, rent a car. Okay, that makes more sense. Now, as soon as you walk into someplace dark, it's like... Mm, creepy music. Every time. Nothing going on in there, you know? It's just like an empty place with, like, rabbits and smiling bunnies and stuff. Doesn't matter. Creepy music time. Man. Didn't even find anything in there. Are they trying to discourage us from going in and searching places? Well, you won't do it. You won't do it, I say. I will never stop looking. I will never stop exploring. Okay, this tree was planted there, and it's been long enough for that tree over there to grow like 20, 30 feet tall in the hole in the ground that wasn't there before. This thing would certainly be, be a lot bigger. You know what, Naughty Dog? You should hire me to help you. Um, we all deserve a home. You know, that's true. Uh, you should definitely hire me to to help make sure that uh, the I don't know what the term is I'm looking for not to think of words that's for sure but to uh, ensure that the continuity that's the word I'm looking for continuity of all this stuff is matching how do we get blacktop on top of blacktop I'll buy that that might be possible through some sort of thing but is that a frog? look it's a froggy 
Looks like a toad, actually. Hey. Hey, froggy. Froggy. Man, why wouldn't let me catch it? That's dumb. You guys are dumb. Stupid game developers. I'm just kidding. Please give me a job. Also, I've got lots of story ideas for stuff, so... I mean, yeah, at some point, I'll, I'll probably... After I make a, a bunch of money working for you guys... Even not even a bunch, but just, you know, some money working for you guys... I'll, uh... I'll definitely be, uh... Taking that money and starting my own media company. Because, you know, that's what we're trying to do now. But, uh... You know, you can have, you know, for helping me do something like that, you guys can certainly have a couple of my, uh, at least one of my I my great IPs. So, you know. Oh, God, I thought I left this mic muted this whole time. Ooh. Don't like this. Don't like this. What are all these yellow card things up here? What is that? Why are those... Why are there all those yellow things? That seems weird. I don't get that. Nope, no infected there. Shit. Locked. Okay, I was just checking with that. I think we can cut through that convention center. Oh, look, I could have gone through here. I'm tired of cutting through convention centers. They're terrible. Shamblers everywhere. Jammed? I need to use my rifle more often. Oh, look, I've actually got more than a full clip for that thing. What? Oh, apparently we got some, uh, got some more buckshot somewhere. Bird shot, maybe. That'd be cool if you could, like, craft, um, like an optional, uh, slug. Like, oh, we custom made a slug. You know, in the craft workbench or in the crafting menu or something, and then be able to switch out the ammo type, or just find a separate ammo type, and switch it out like. Uh... Okay, not happening. Told you. Just checking. <laughs> but yeah, you could like check out the different. Uh... Or check out. She said checking, but you could use the different. Um... Oh, he's got a whole blade of scissors. But you could use... You could switch the different ammo types. I think that'd be... Pretty cool. Let's, uh... Swap to our bow here. Just in case. Do you ever worry they're gonna come back to Jackson after us? No. What do you mean? We're gonna kill them all. I mean, we're going through a lot of their people. In their city. Because of what they did. Didn't Abby and her friends come to Jackson because of something Joel did? He's got a good point. This place isn't like Jackson. I mean, Joel and Tommy helped Abby when she got attacked. These people are trying to kill everyone around them. I mean, they shot you on sight, didn't they? Yeah. They did. Is he able to walk now, I guess? Yeah, they shot me on sight, too. Freaking scar bastards. Tell you what. I'm torn because Scar in The Lion King, he'd be proud of them. But also, uh, I like Scar and I don't like them. So, I don't feel like they deserve any type of compliment or comparison. Oh, jackpot. Let's see, what can we... Smoke bombs, which gets us... 
more effective health kits, which we're not super worried about, honestly. Craft more arrows, not super worried about. Oh, yeah, improved Malta. Okay, so we just need a couple more pills. Also, actually, have we not crafted some of this stuff? Why is it yellow? Guess we haven't made any of these. Anyway. Oh, we got something new in the journal? Oh, uh, okay. Whoops, nope, nope, nope. No! Stop, stop, stop. What I know. They're former fireflies from the hospital. It makes sense. This is what my gut said all along. The wolf took a bunch of them in after they disbanded. Traveled to Jackson specifically to kill Joel, to torture Joel. Killing him wasn't enough. Abby is hiding out in the aquarium. What I don't know. Why is Abby hiding out? It doesn't matter. Where are the rest of them? Do they matter if I get Abby? No. Where's Tommy? Is he still alive? He has to be. Should I tell Dina and Jesse about this? No. They can't know what Joel did. They won't understand. Do I understand? Well, is she going to start a new organization called the Moths? Called the Wonderbugs? Called the Phoenix Flies? Oh, there we go. That's a good one. You know, because after the fire... Are we not trying to go that way? Oh, that's where we came from. Okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense now. How long has Dina been this sick? Only a couple days. When we first got here, she fucked up a bunch of wolves. You'd have been impressed. I bet. You don't cross that girl. <laughs> We'll make another Molotov. Get the supplies while you can. Oh, parts. What, what? Ah, oh, I need some upgrades. I feel like I haven't upgraded my gun in, like, freaking forever. Oh, what, what? Workbench. You better workbench. <laughs> uh, I'm the only one who thinks that's funny, but that's okay. I think that's really funny. Tormentra. Oh, she looks dope. Might be a new fave. Real name, Iris Ocampo. 80 and 80. Nice. Once a kind, empathetic teenager, Tormentra was always bullied for being soft, but everything changed when a latent genetic mutation emerged, allowing her to convert the mental anguish of others into kinetic energy. The worse the pain, the more powerful the result. Ugh, she could stay fueled off me for life. Now her day job as a criminal psychologist allows her to absorb the worst things in people's lives and use it as a literal ammo against those who persecuted her. Many suspect Tormentra, feeding off the hurt of those who got in the way of her prior outbursts, creating a never-ending cycle, never cycle of suffering. So do people go to her and they don't realize who she is? Until it's too late. Okay, she's dope. What was that other teenage uh, person? There was another teenage girl. It was like uh, her abilities depend on her mood or whatever. And uh, yeah. the They ought to... Uh... This is awesome. They ought to, uh... It's interesting, or she better be aware she doesn't turn into her. Alright, make sure I'm not gonna get jumped from the side again. Can I craft anything? For the love of God, please say yes. Ah, oh, I can't craft a rangefinder, unfortunately. Fire rate and stability. Okay, this is like the big, uh... This is the big damage doer that I use a lot. So. But wait a second. The, uh, this guy. Let's do stability on this guy. Because I'm using it to do headshots. 
for silent stuff. And uh, I'm upset that it doesn't. I wish it showed you what piece it was going to change and what it was going to do to it. You should see it before and after. See, I don't know. Did she put a new grip on it? Read manual before use. Is Nicotera a real gun, or is that a... Uh... Oh, wait, is that N? That little addition to the barrel? Is that the stability thing? Wish you could see, like, the pieces that were added on at different times. Like, take them on or off or something like that. Oh, get down on there. Down on the ground! What you looking at, buddy? Just picking your nose? Ah, uh, that creaky hinge I thought was a zombo. Kind of roaring. Oh yeah, that wasn't going to move. Gotta wish I could uh, fix those things. It'd make me feel a lot better. This side up. I wonder what's in all these boxes. Oh, that's not a good sign. That, uh, whatever that bumping and stuff is. I swear I hear a zombie on the other side of that. Can we go this way already? Yeah, I looked there already. Okay. Hey, give me a hand. Something's gonna come out that other door. Through here. No, really? just gotta ask. Why didn't she tell me about it? the pregnancy? Listen, I, I'm sure she'll tell you about it when she... Going down today. All the units are being rounded up. Who did you hear it from? Top man and stuff. We make sure this area is clear, wait for the other units, and then take the fight to the stop. So, last time... It won't be like last time. Think of what will happen if you don't obey. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh, God. Oh, God. It and then they freaking oh god what the okay just shoot me
Yeah, there we go. Thank you. I was like, oh no, they didn't. It's like they didn't finish killing me. That's the worst. Does quick throw work if there's not a bottle already out? It'd be very helpful if it did. But I don't think it does. Who did you hear it from? Top man himself. They make sure this area is clear, wait to see other units, and then take the fight to the star. Last time I'm gonna shoot you out of the goddamn water. That time it went like it was supposed to. Oh wait, maybe not. Still people? Oh shoot. Oh, why did you wait so long to shoot? You... What the? Oh, the guns are so much worse in this game. That's what I want you to do. Are you just waiting for more? No, that's not the right. Why would you pull that out? That wasn't what I was selecting. Uh. Seriously, what the? F That'll do it. Better do it. I'm tired of this shit. So trigger happy. We're at war with this fucked up cult. Heard them talk about it. Seraphines or something. Seraphites. Scars is all I've heard them called. You run into any? No. You're lucky. Alright, let's make sure we're all loaded up. Jeez. What a freaking waste. What a mess of a waste that was. Hey, look, ammo I can actually take for once. Imagine that. Oh, here's something I didn't think about before. So, artifacts and journal entries. What are artifacts? Like, random things? I haven't found any coins. That worries me. Find all training manuals. So, we haven't found all the training manuals yet. Which, uh, worries me. I'm thinking maybe... I don't have all the weapons yet. Did we miss some things? Like some important place somewhere? Because this is all very, very common. And, uh... 
Wait, what did that say? Mint condition. Find five coins. I haven't found any coins. What is the deal with that? I thought I was doing really good at some of this stuff. Apparently I'm not. Um. Yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, so we don't have... Here's why this is bad. Look at this. There's no locked thing up there anymore. Why is there no locked thing up there anymore? Because it thinks I'm far enough in the game or I should have found all the training manuals. But I haven't. It's extremely worrying to me because my OCD is freaking out right now. I don't know if I've said this on the any of our shows before or not, but it's things like that where it's like sedatives. I really want. I really wish sedatives were a uh, a uh, over the counter kind of thing. The um. Ooh, gave a little like hooky deal and everything. Oops, sorry, I didn't see you there. The um, I had like a pretty intense surgery done, and uh, oops, not crashed through there. I had a really intense surgery done. I had a bunch of time. It's supposed to be like, oh, let's go for an appointment. Let's go for a checkup. Oh, you need to have surgery yesterday. And uh, so it was cool. Uh, okay, whatever. And then uh, I had to basically, I say fight, but it was basically uh, the department that does transplants. Um, basically, they do the surgery because it's like that crazy. And... Um, Basically, it was like if there's a a tra if there's a transplant, then I can't have the surgery because that takes a little bit more priority, a lot more priority. But it was, it was still pretty bad. And um, I don't need your hint. Get out of here. I think I can break through this. Let me stop with the hint. Why did it pop up? Why is it doing that? door over there. I wonder if I can get through that door. Oh, that's a thing. But the, um... So I finally go in. So it was like, they gave me enough time to, like, freak out. Because I started doing math. Like... Not meth. Math. The, uh... I started doing, like, oh, percentage of, like, complications from surgery in general. And then from anesthetics. And then from this type of procedure. You know, with this type of stuff. And so I was, like freaking out um and then when i was getting prepped for surgery you're in this like room on a metal table surrounded by metal with these like lights that would be too bright for a construction crew and uh, they're shining in your face like 50 doctors come swarming out of this door that's set for you know, with like three there's only like three tables there for prepping people for surgery and you know there's like Five people putting IVs in me, you know, a couple people watching them and doing other stuff and telling me about this or that and getting me prepped for all this other stuff. And uh, I had a little bit of like a panic attack and was like freaking out. A little bit of a panic attack. Uh, and uh, so I was. Oh, look at that. So after that, I was I was like I'm freaking out, and they're like, "All right, we'll give you a we'll give you a sedative." So they give me this sedative, and they're like, "All right, we're gonna give you a sedative. It's gonna be about like having, you know, four to six beers or something like that." All right, okay, okay. Yeah, they gave it to me. It's wonderful. I instantly was like, well, not instantly, but I was like pretty much realized out of nowhere. It's like, oh, I'm not freaking out at all. And then it was like. Oh, this is all fine. You know, everything's fine. This isn't so bad. 
you know, as surgery. People have surgery all the time, right? So it's, you know, it's like everything's fine. Everything's good. And, uh, I was basically the point where they're, like, putting a, a, uh, stop with the freaking hints. My God. They're putting a, uh, an epidural in my back. And they're like, all right, you gotta let us know if it's, go, you know, if it's left. I keep going, ow, ow, ow. Which, well, which way has it got to go? To the left, to the left. Ow, ow, ow. I felt bad because uh, eventually the guy that was doing it had to have his supervisor come over and do it for him. And they still kept hitting, and I was like, oh, wait, I meant, I meant the right. Because <laughs> they said it, it was so bad. But I uh, asked a little bit later, they were like, are you good? You think you, you think you need a little more sedative? And I was like, uh, yeah, give me another beer. And uh, I felt more calm and collected than I have in quite some time. I swear it looked like somebody's watching us out of that window. But yeah, if they could just sell that, you know, low dose over the counter. Yeah, this thing would be definitely way bigger. Also there. Uh, patterns under there. Not quite right. But, uh. What's up with all these posters? Oh, back to this place. Comics. Wait, what was happening here? A gathering for people who were really into this stuff. Aren't we just here? Like you, basically. You were born in the wrong time, man. I want to go up the side here, see if there's anything. Which, yeah, it would be quite wonderful to be able to get an over-the-counter uh, sedative. That's something to take the edge off sometimes. Oh, nice, look. Glad I came up here. So excited about finding a dead guy. Get all the ammo. No note from this guy. Yo, I'm pretty sure, like, must be a different convention center, but I was already at a Comic Con. I would have sworn it would have been the same place. But we had definitely traveled a lot further before we were in the convention center from the previous episode or whatever that you would call us being in. Maybe this place is just that big. We're completely on the other side of the building. Of course, it's not going to tell us nothing until we jump over. Okay. No wolves waiting for us. I thought there would be. I wonder how many ambulances are full of, like... Like, bloaters or something just sitting in there. You know? Just full of spores and... I think they went with Seattle just because they knew they could, like, make it rainy and depressing the whole time. And it'd what were be... you saying? Okay. Before, about Dina. You said she'll tell me when... Once things are wrapped up here. I guess at some point it'll get pretty hard to hide it. Do you know if she's going to keep it? I don't. drink there. I imagine uh, deciding not to keep it in a uh, post-apocalypse like this is a little more difficult. 
Come on, why can't we pull a Norman Reedus and just like drive motorcycles everywhere? That looks like it'd totally be Ellie's thing. Actually, I want to see something. Oh, um, nope. I was hoping maybe we could, like, bust it open, pull out a newspaper, and read it. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, Ferris wheel. wonder if we're going to head down there. Look at this mess. The aquarium. It's right next to that Ferris wheel. Of course it is. Okay. I was hoping Tommy has the same info. It's like we're swimming. Tommy could have already headed back, giving up, thinking it's a lost cause. Okay, nothing here. We're gonna have to go stealth. Oh, I was thinking earlier, I don't know if I said it, but watch us have to go, like, uh, escort mission for, uh, for Dina, getting her back to Jackson. What's this? Is this a secret area? Oh, no, that's where we came from. now straight ahead probably Infected. oh no I don't want to go that way this way okay after you well damn it all right let's just clear this out like an optional dungeon These stalkers. Oh, these are stalkers. Stalkers and a couple clickers. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. There's at least one more. There was one at the van. We saw one run across. No, there was obviously stalkers, and since you said that, it means we're gonna run into one.
All right, we're getting ammos. I like that. keep this out because I can't carry much more of this stuff. So I might as well use this ammo. Nice. I think this is actually supposed to be the way. I'm not sure if this is actually supposed to be the way or not. Maybe that's why I'm missing some stuff. I think I went some other ways that I was like, oh, I don't know if this is right. Maybe that was just him. I swear I heard some zombie. Made those shots count pretty good. That's right. Stay dead. Is that Jesse or is that more coming for us? Ooh. Okay. Now that's it. Can I not use it? Looks a... like a dead end. Yeah. Heh, <laughs> dead end. Whatever sorry asshole finds me. I can barely keep my hand steady. For everyone on base needs to know. I got ambushed on my way to relieve Misha at the monorail lookout. One of the scars. I swear he looks just like our own boy Gray. Fuck, I'm so lightheaded. Someone please put a bullet in that uh, fucking snake's face for me. And tell Mish, I'm sorry. Tried to hustle Jensen. Guess not everything's fine in paradise. Mm, I didn't get any of my arrows back, did I? Well, let's. Craft some arrows then, I guess. Oh. Okay, let's not craft some arrows. Well, we're not going up there. This was a dead end. We got some confirmation of that. Which makes me happy. Man, those stalkers got me. Spooked. Go Team Jackson. Fuck these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Some, some, something down to Jackson. Let's see, can I climb over this car? No. 
Okay, well, back here it is. I just like swimming now that I can do it. I want to test my swimming skills all the time. Oh, I don't like hearing the sudden sudden running. Freaks me out for sure. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, you should come this way. Oh, look, a fish. Uh-oh. I mean, that's exactly the way I wanted to come. I wanted to get up here earlier. All right, looks like that's how we'll get across there. Let's double check. No, what are you doing? Jump into the... Okay, just a fight. So I got the machete, so I should use it, because it's a bladed weapon. And then when it's almost gone, I should fix it. Oh, this game's so awesome. Ooh, is that where we want to go? I guess we kind of have to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We could jump down in there, but I don't think we can get out anywhere. So we must have to jump up in here. Dead end. I just like the phrase dead end. It's like, well, that's what you call ironic. Think you can get through there? Let's see. <laughs> Hoping that wasn't the wrong time to take a drink. Bookstore. You know, if you told me you were leaving. I know, that's why I didn't tell you. I just... I didn't think you'd be okay with all this. I looked up to Joel. What happened to him was messed up. I would have come. He kind of got what was coming to him, though. So... Joel liked you a lot, too, you know? He used to think I had a crush on you. <laughs> really? I mean... You're handsome and whatever, but I'm um, not into your type. <laughs> what, Asians? <laughs> That's obviously what I meant. <laughs> racism is funny when it is okay when it's funny. Ooh, jump over the thing. Jump over the thing. Damn it. Also, obviously, I was way kidding. Just, you know. Keep your poop in a group. Okay. I always have so many extra resources, I'm always like, well, maybe I would make it on grounded mode. And then it's like, you know, so far, or at least a harder mode with... You know, where it'd be harder to find resources. But well, then I know if I was doing that, it'd be like, I'd be fine unless I was doing it. When I was doing that, I would just use all my resources, like, instantly. Okay, no stalkers. Hopefully. Otherwise, nothing else. That I can discern, anyway. Oh, 
Oh, I hear I hear a ribbity. I hear a ribbity hoppity. Jump up the there we go. What are you doing? More ribbity hoppities. Pretty messed <laughs> up. Putting fungus in the kids section. Mushrooms didn't exactly carry the same meaning back then. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. That's funny. Do you have a favorite book as a kid? What a perspective. Yeah. Battle ghosts. It's about these space marines who fight off ghosts. Alien ghosts. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd like. Okay. What about you, smartass? Well, my mom only had this one kid's book, The Root Child, about this boy who turns into a forest to save his village. Okay. To keep things fresh, though, my mom would improvise different endings. <laughs> this one time, the boy just let the whole village die. It gave me nightmares. That's <laughs> dark. That's really sweet she did that. Yeah. Mom's a sweetheart. She's gonna go crazy when she hears about this baby. Sure. I could see that. Ah, uh, the quintessential train sets. The little grooves in the wooden track. Oh, we got a new uh, journal thing. Let's look at that. Okay, that's everything. Kids used to think these were cute. I think it's really cool they added something like that in there. To really put in perspective. Only 14 parts? Man. I feel like we picked up a bunch of parts, but we can't really make a whole bunch. We ought, we should... We ought, must be uh, dropping a whole bunch Nice. Real isn't how you are made, said the skin horse. It's a thing that happens to you when a child loves you for a long, long time. Not just to play with, but really loves you. Then you become real. Does it hurt? Asked the rabbit. Sometimes, said the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you are real, you don't mind being hurt. I know you're upset. Will we talk like this for a bit? Would that help? Okay. I didn't mean to grab you like that. I hope I didn't hurt you. Even mommies are scared sometimes. I'm okay. I'm really scared too. I get how angry you are. I miss him too. But you can't scream like that. Just want to need. I know. I love you so much, I won't let anything happen to you. Love you too. They're probably both dead by now. Well, we're not going out that way, that's for sure. Gotta be some like training manuals in here or something. All right, I guess we're going up. Oh, this doesn't go up anywhere. All right, so let's go. Not that it doesn't go up anywhere. It doesn't go up where this is over here. We survive this. Uh huh. I say as soon as we get back, we get drunk and play some ghost games. <laughs> oh yeah. I want to feel normal. Oh, that sounds great. Except oh. I don't think Dina's gonna be drinking. Well, she can stay sober. <laughs> 
Jesse's voice sounds familiar. Okay, so that did come up here, but I just didn't Jesus. realize it. What happened up here? These guys really have it in for each other. I think it goes back years. Wonder how it all started. What's he talking about? People hung up anywhere? Am I not seeing dead people? Oh, hey, right there. Looks like they burned them. Hopefully not alive, but... You know, things happen. Book on violin. Any book on guitar theory stuff? LA might enjoy that. Don't know. Ah, strings? No. Uh, CD. Okay. I thought that was a little weird, but... Ooh, explosive arrow. Noise. Just what I always wanted. Oh. Hello. You guys haven't been dead too long. Wow. This place is fucked. Blood's still wet. Let's get back to the street. Yeah. Yeah. This place is gonna implode before too long. Nice. Lots of pills. Kind of surprised I don't have anything that increases my health. That was one thing Joel had. You could get more health. Alright, don't want the wrench. I wonder how many people miss those pills. Cool if they had a trophy for, like, getting all the pills. Unless it's random. Obviously. We can box around to that ferris wheel. Box around? I don't know what that means. You know, when you take three right turns around a block instead of just turning left. Okay. Let's box around this area. It's a thing. If you say so. I'm not even heard the term box around. All right, guys. We're going to call it here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate you hanging out here with me on the Bratcat channel. Like or dislike, if you want to. Uh, sub and notify to know when we release a new thing. Uh, or you can follow us on Twitter at Bracat Media, and then we'll get you'll get posts there about when we release something. Uh, if you want to talk to me directly, you can do so down in the comments, or you can at me at Hobfoot on Twitter. And hmm, that's yeah, that's it for me. Pretty sure. Uh, don't do drugs and don't become a zombie. Yeah, I think that covers it. Peace out, Chris Guts.